Scorpios, let's see what the next 72 hours has in store for you. Also, if you want to follow me on any of my other social medias, that information will be below, as well as my personal reading website information and all of that. Okay. So, the theme, we have the Eight of Cups. The energy around career and finance, we have the Death card. Love, we have the Queen of Swords, or not Queen of Swords, excuse me, the Ace of Swords. The possible challenge, we have the Justice card. The advice, we have the Two of Swords. What to be aware of, we have the Lovers. What to avoid, we have the Six of Cups. And then the outcome, we have the Empress. Okay, and then let's pull some Oracle cards. What is the message for my Scorpios from their spirit guides for the next 72 hours? What is the message? Okay, so we have humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So yeah, so I had to laugh a little bit. So when it comes to life in general, there's a lot of funny components to how life plays out and how our experiences kind of are ironic in, in a lot of different ways. But when it comes to life itself, sometimes we take life too serious in a way where we think that every decision that we make, we have to check off a box and say, okay, we did good. We made the right decision when life is purely about experience. And instead of allowing yourself to look at life from such a serious perspective that scares you essentially out of living life from this playful manner, which we're essentially here to do. We are purely, we're merely here to experience. This is a reminder to take life just as that. Tapping into your inner child and, and literally repeating to yourself, life is not that serious and you don't have to have everything extremely figured out. Okay, let me keep going. This is interesting. Scorpios, message from their spirit guides. So we have detox your friendships. Hold on, let me see. It says your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time with. So by discerning about your association and relationships, or excuse me, be discerning, about your association and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. Yes. So, Spirit also wants you to be mindful of who you're spending your time, your energy around. Are you around people who are genuinely supportive of you? Are you around people who are just trying to be around you for whatever they could leverage off of you to be in your energy? Okay, and if you have people around you who are not genuinely inspiring you, but also putting doubt into you and, and pushing you away from believing in yourself, those may be some friendships that you have to reassess, okay? And this isn't the time to be telling everyone your plans or what you're trying to do because everyone doesn't have the best intentions. And people who don't genuinely support you will try to convince you not to do the things that you want to do because they can't possibly help see you succeed at something that they may want to do. So they'll project ideas of you not being capable when they don't believe they're capable. So be very mindful of people like that who want to shoot down your ideas and who want to always complain and talk about other people. Now, going deeper into this, for the next 72 hours, the theme, with the Eight of Cups representing that, this is a time of disconnecting from things that don't resonate with you anymore, okay? There was once some sort of fulfillment that you got from a job, a relationship, a living environment, whatever this may be, that you have evolved from and you're on a completely new journey. Now, the tricky thing is with the Eight of Cups, we don't know where that journey is leading us. We don't know. But all we can do is know that we 
are going to make the most out of it. And that's the energy you guys are having to understand during this next 72 hours and beyond, actually. Even though you don't know where your journey is taking you, there's a fresh new start that's ahead of you. So yes, a lot of you have already walked away from whatever this is, a job, business, relationship, living environment. It's just adjusting or making sense of what exactly is next for you or what you did walk away from. So that's going to be the theme during, during this time frame. Now, when it comes to career and finance, I have the death card. So you could be extremely focused on like evolving and growing in that arena. You could be trying maybe some new ways of conducting business or just wanting to make some changes around how you go about maybe approaching your career. Okay, the death card is actually the card for Scorpios. So there's something here that you guys are going to be evolving about how you show up in your career or how you show up in terms of how you manage your finances, okay? You could be seeing that certain financial habits are actually eating away at your finances and not really putting you in alignment with the you know financial growth you're looking to have. So you could be changing up like, Again, certain spending habits. Mm. Again, you could be quitting some sort of job or resigning, deciding that you don't necessarily want to work there anymore. Now, going into love, let's talk about that. We have the Ace of Swords. So there could be some sort of conversation that you could have with an ex or somebody you've been on the outs with, you could be thinking about them if it's not like an actual conversation or vice versa. This person could be thinking about you or even wanting to have a conversation and trying to reach out, you know, uh, write you, call you. And this could be quite unexpected. Okay. Also, this could be someone new. There could be a new form of communication form between you and a love interest you guys can start calling each other every single day getting to know each other there could be a lot that you're learning about this individual and you could be learning you know if this is the person for you or not basically hmm but overall you're going to get some sort of clarity during this time frame or you could be in search of some sort of clarity in regards to how to handle your love life, whether you're single in a relationship or not. Okay. Hmm. And you could get this clarity, like I said, via a conversation, via an interaction you have with this love interest. Hmm. Now, going into the possible challenge, I do have the justice card. So this could be some sort of legal issue or some sort of court case that could be like dragging on or that could be just a little bit taxing. This could also be you desiring to have more fairness. Maybe you don't feel like you're getting treated fairly at your job or getting treated fairly in your marriage. There, there's something in your life where you are expecting fairness and maybe you're not necessarily getting that. There also could be a challenge with fixing a marriage or fixing an existing relationship with someone, whether it's romantic, family related, friend related. It, it could be hard, like actually fixing things or repairing things. Hmm. Also, the justice card is connected to karma. So you could be wanting certain individuals to get karma for things that they may have done to you. And you could be wondering, like, when are they going to get their bad karma? Why does it seem like they're getting good karma for things that they didn't do that were positive? And that could be something that's a little bit annoying for you as well but understand that everybody's journey is theirs and 
The best thing that you can do is release the need to focus on when someone is going to get their karma and more so focus on reaping good karma yourself and allowing people's karma to manifest the way that it's supposed to. But going deeper, the advice with the two of swords, this is not a time to be allowing issues to just kind of pile up. If you have been putting off a decision here for a while that could help you break free from any stagnancy or feeling stuck, this is the time to make it. Because the Two of Swords does talk about being at a stalemate or purposely putting yourself at a stalemate because you don't really want to make a decision or you don't know what decision to make because you, you feel like you don't have enough information. But the truth is, you do have enough information. You just may be not wanting to see the reality. And it's important for you to make this decision instead of putting it off. Also, if you're at odds with someone because this person doesn't want to see your perspective and you could be maybe even struggling to see their perspective or coming to a common ground or compromise, right? The advice is trying to get to the root of compromise with this person if you do value this relationship because stubbornness and wanting to be right could be keeping a really good relationship from being a thing, Now, going into what you're not aware of, Scorpios, we have the lover's card. So again, it's talking about some sort of choice. There could be some sort of choice here that you guys have to make that could change the course of everything. Or there could be a need for you to examine your choices just in general during the next 72 hours um, and make sure that it's reflective of what you would like to see for yourself. Are you making choices that are putting you in alignment with what your long-term goals are or the bigger picture? Or are you making decisions based off of the short term? And that's what you want to be really, really mindful of. Okay. Also, what you may not be aware of is how other people could be affecting your energy or how other people could be uh, mirrors in your life, reflecting back good and bad things about self, you know, the shadow side and our light side. And how a relationship, a romantic relationship in particular, could be reflective in that way. And maybe used to be that way. That may be the purpose for why it's in your, this relationship is in your life. Now, what to avoid with the Six of Cups, this could be going backward, okay? Being in this nostalgic state where you're focusing on the good days or the past where you don't think that you could experience the good days now. Because being in nostalgia, the dangerous thing about nostalgia is we romanticize the past. Even if the past wasn't 100% perfect, we'll always think of the past as this golden time where things were all good. And in the future, we'll do the same thing in regards to this current moment. And we'll, we'll never be in a space of bliss in the current moment if we're constantly reflecting back to the past to tell us about the good days. Or waiting till the future confirms that things are going to be good for us. But in this scenario, what you want to avoid is being caught up in your past in a way where it keeps you stuck there. Because the good days are now here as well. It's just capitalizing on the juicy moments right now instead of letting those moments pass you by. Now, last card, this is going to represent the outcome with the Empress card. This is the energy of growth. This is the energy of expansion. Okay, you could be doing things to purposely put yourself in alignment with growth and expansion. So this could be changing up your diet and be a mindful of what you're using to fuel your body. This could be you spending more time with your children or with a, a mother figure, father figure. You could be spending more time with family as a whole. I see a huge focus also on just overall abundance, living, living in an abundance of positive energy. I, I wouldn't even say just positive energy. I would say like living in abundance period. 
basically, because the Empress card is not just about being wealthy or having a whole bunch of money. It's about tapping into all the five senses. So eating good food, listening to good music, surrounding yourself with good vibes. So you could be trying to be a lot more intentional in regards to that by the end of this time frame. And just essentially feeling like you need to nurture yourself. So this could be the perfect time for like self-care, doing things that you kind of love to do to nurture yourself or to feel like you're in good spirits. Okay, I also see you guys taking more of a ma mature approach to how you're handling things during this time frame. There could be certain conflicts that come up that you're not handling things with maybe this, this sense of immaturity or the sense of stooping to other people's level is kind of what I'm getting. But this is what I see. I hope that this was helpful and to give you insight. If you enjoyed, thumbs the video up and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.